right, we're going to go over glycolysis and all of the substrate steps first. Then we're going to do the enzymes, and then we're going to do re the reactions that are associated with the substrate and enzyme. So first up, we are going to put glucose. And how I remember this is like connect the dots. So we have glucose. The next molecule is um, substrate is glucose 6-phosphate. So I'm going to connect it. 6-phosphate. The next one is fructose 6-phosphate. So I'm going to connect using the phosphate here. After that, I'm going to bring down the fructose, and we have 1,6-bisphosphate, B-I-phosphate. Next, I draw a triangle. Put a three in the middle because we have one. Bi is two. Next is three. We're gonna split. And we're gonna remember the three because of the, the enzyme that's associated here. And that is um, triose phosphate isomerase. So here on this side, we're gonna write out dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Here is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Next, we're going to bring down, remember the 3, bring down the 3. We have 1, 3, phospho. Bisphospho. Phospho. Glycerate. Glycer. Glycerate. 1 3 bisphospho glycerate. We're going to bring down the phosphoglycerate here, and we have 3 bis, um, 3 phospho glycerate. Bring it down again, and we have two phospho glycerates. Next one, you're going to remember enol, and we're just going to fill in the blanks. So we're going to bring down phospho. We already have the enol. And we're going to bring up pyruvate because our next substrate is pyruvate. Pyruvate. And we're going to bring up pyruvate. And this is how I remember um, the substrates in glycolysis. Now what I want you to do is pause the video here and rewind, replay this section and get the core down, get the substrates down. Once you get the substrates down, then you can easily remember the, um, the enzymes that are associated with the substrates. So after you get this down, then press play to continue and we'll go over the enzymes. All right, the enzymes are up. So we're going to remember, first one, hexokinase. So between glucose and glucose 6-phosphate is hexokinase. Number one, hexokinase. Between glucose and glucose 6-phosphate, the first enzyme is hexokinase. Now, between glucose 6-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate, we have our second enzyme, and it's phosphoglucose 
a summary. So here, all you have to do is remember a summary. Because we already have phospho, phospho here. We already have glucose, glucose here. Phospho, glucose, a summary. Between fructose 6-phosphate and fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, this enzyme is phospho. So we get our phospho from the phosphate, fructose from our um, from the name, and then all you have to do is remember fructo here, and then all you have to do is remember kinase. So we have phospho, phospho from our phosphate, fructo from fructose. And then all you have to do is remember kinase. Now the enzyme between fructose 1,6-bisphosphate um, and our two molecules is tree, triose phosphate, trio 3, and that's why um, I wrote the 3 and had our triangle so that remember that allows us to remember that there is a split and that our next, our, um, our molecule, our molecule, our enzyme is trio, triose phosphate three. Isomerase. Here, between glyceraldehyde three phosphate and one three bisphosphate, this enzyme is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. So all you have to do is bring down the name and add dehydrogenase. So you don't have to remember much. So remember the name, bring it down, and then you have dehydrogenase. Same thing with our next one. The molecule or the enzyme is phosphoglycerate kinase. So all you have to do is remember kinase. Phosphoglycerate kinase is the enzyme between 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and 3-phosphoglycerate. The next enzyme is mutase. Phosphoglycerate mutase. Again, bring down the name and add mutase. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, it's a good thing to remember enol because the enzyme is called enolase. And lastly, we have pyruvate kinase. And you remember it because the molecule um, above between phosphoenol pyruvate and pyruvate, the enzyme is pyruvate kinase. So all you have to do is remember kinase. All right, one hexokinase between glucose and glucose 6 phosphate, phosphoglucose isomerase between glucose 6 uh, phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate, phosphofructokinase between fructose 6 phosphate and fructose 1 6 bisphosphate, then between fructose 1 6 phosphate and our two um, substrates. We have trio phosphate isomerase between glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. Bring down the name, add dehydrogenase. 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate. Bring down the phosphoglycerate and add kinase. And that's between 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate and 3-phosphoglycerate. Between 3-phosphoglycerate and 2-phosphoglycerate, 
is phosphoglycerate mutase between 2-phosphoglycerate and phosphoenol pyruvate is enolase. Remember enol, enolase. And our last enzyme is between phosphoenol pyruvate and pyruvate, and that is pyruvate kinase. And these are our enzymes in glycolysis. Now here are the reactions that happen between the enzymes and the substrate. Now, between glucose and glucose 6 phosphate, we have ATP converting to ADP. Next, we have between fructose Six phosphate and fructose one six bisphosphate, we have ATP converting to ADP. Now remember, between glucose six phosphate and fructose six phosphate, when these reactions occur, it can be reversed. So it's a reversible reaction. Next, we have glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates and 1,3-bis-phosphoglycerate. Between these two substrates and with the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, there is a reaction. Now it's NAD, NAD plus converting to NADH. Now here, the reaction is reversible. Drop down and we have ADP converting to ATP. So here we have some energy, and I'm going to use a different color to showcase energy. Energy. All right, energy. And our last reaction, we have, I'll write it here, A. DP converting to ATP, and that's between phenol, phenol, phosphoenolpyruvate and pyruvate with the enzyme pyruvate kinase. ADP is converted to ATP. And remember that all of this happens twice there are two three carbon molecules the glycer uh, glyceraldehyde three phosphates 